Please don't misunderstand what he was saying. Misunderstand? He walked in on a private conversation. End of story. Private or not, you've got something to say. Say it to my face. You need my... don't need to jump all defensive. Nicholas wasn't accusing you of anything. Well, not specifically. Uh, he is just realizing that Claudia may not be the nicest person in the world. Hmm. Which is not surprising, given what everyone knows your family's capable of, right? Okay, the Zakara family doesn't have a great reputation, but... It's not too dissimilar from the Cassadine family, if what I heard is true. See, Nicholas, because you are so different from the Cassadines is exactly why I can believe that he is totally different from his father. I'm not going to sit here and defend the Zakara family name. It is what it is. But I will promise you that I will not hurt Lulu for anything. Oh, can't ask for more than that, can you? Hmm. It'll do for now. Okay, wonderful. I'm going to leave. Um, I can hear Kate calling for her new lattes as we speak. You want to come with me? Sure. Okay. Kate will still be on her conference call and she won't even notice that I'm gone. Let's run. No, I'm fine. You still haven't even told me why you were at the clinic. I, I just wanted to talk to Nicholas about something and I actually um, think you, you should hear it too. You want Nicholas to stay away from Claudia and you think if you tell him enough times he'll actually back off. But don't even waste the effort because Nicholas has found out what Claudia's all about and he's over so problem solved. I'm sorry. I know, I know you love your sister. I just... I wish you could see her for the way the rest of the world does. And what if I did, Lulu? Am I just supposed to disown her? Not tell her that she's not good enough to be related to me? Where do you get off thinking it's okay to trash my sister in front of my face? I'm sorry. I, I mean... No, 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 no. You don't know Claudia or why it is that she does what she does, but I do. Yeah. That's not very polite. What, were you raised in a barn? I'm busy. You were kidnapped at gunpoint yesterday. Yeah, and that's the last time I saw you. One lousy phone call telling me you're alive just doesn't cut it. I want to see you now. I'm going to pick out the layout from the Cayman shoot when I'm in the city and have the car service meet me at the private tarmac. I'm going to fly in Jax's plane. Is Jax going with you? Yes, actually, he is. Oh, how great. He's so photogenic. The paparazzi love him. Good choice. So do you want the car service to take you back to the airport when you're done? Yes, I do. But book two rooms at the Carlisle just in case. Oh, and make sure that Federico and Carl are sitting at my table. Maxie, your instincts are good. They really are. I'm so sorry, I'm late. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, Lulu, not at all. We're always so grateful when you join us. I will take these. And this. I've already done half this stuff. Oh, well, great. Then you're only halfway behind. Personal problems have no place in the workforce. Thank you. Give it up on us. We belong together. All you, all you need to do is give me another chance. Let me look. This isn't a good time. More okay. to the point, this is a place of business. So resolve this by the time I'm ready to leave. Logan, you need to get out of here. Why well, should I? Lula and I were great before you tore us apart. Oh, can, can we not have that conversation? Maxie's not backed off even a little, okay? She's still determined to hurt us. This is so pathetic. She has been over you Maxie for months. Hates us. She hates us, okay? And the only way to show her how wrong she is is to show her how good we are together, how we belong, we belong together. I'm going to call hotel security. Go ahead. Tell them I said hello. Remember I used to work here as a security guard? Great. Maybe they'll be gentle with you when they throw you out for Ma old time's sake. Maxie, hang up the phone. You, no, just leave. No, I'm not going anywhere, okay? I'm sick of Maxie tearing us apart. Look, I, I am happy that Maxie slept with you because if she hadn't, I would have never met Johnny. No, no you, you don't mean that. I do, I do. I am not going to go back with you, Logan. It really makes me uncomfortable when you ask. It's like you're not hearing me when I say that I am with Johnny, okay? I'm committed to him. I'm not going to go out with you ever again. You could have saved me. But you let this bitch wreck us both.
along. What's on your mind there, kid? This isn't, uh, easy to talk about. But yet you keep coming back, don't you? Well, I'm gonna guess that this one isn't about Lulu. Claudia tell you that I know? Claudia and I arranged for Ian Devlin to knock off Sonny. But he ended up shooting little Michael instead, right? Well, Claudia did insist that it was her idea. She said that you didn't know any of the details until after the shooting. Okay, but none of that is gonna matter to Lulu. She'd leave me in a heartbeat if she knew I had anything to do with Michael's shooting, so I need to know. I plan on telling her. Uh, did we hear from the museum committee? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, they said that you don't have to make a speech, but they still want to thank you and Jax from the stage, and Felix from the Times wants to get a quote from you. I think okay, that. good. Um, why don't you ride in the elevator with me and bring your notebook? We're not done. Maxie, I want you to text me the quote I sent to Graydon last month, and I think that's it. Oh, the fax just came through, but Miss Howard's out of the office for the rest of the day. I'll put it on her desk so it's the first thing she sees in the morning. Great. Bye. Oh. that you had anything to do with Michael's shooting, it'd be over between you. But it would also break her heart. You should know that I will carry the guilt of what happened with me for the rest of my life. Okay. But as I'm sure you know, I've, uh, had some questionable business dealings with Ian Devlin in the past. Paid him a fortune when I knew he was completely unethical. <laughs> I doubt Sonny or Jason would want to kill you for the small part you played in that, though. Regardless, I still carry a certain amount of guilt with that. And Lulu has seen more death than any girl her age should. So, I'll keep quiet. But if you betray the trust that I just put in you, I'll give you up in a heartbeat. Johnny? You already home? Is anybody here? Hello? Logan, help me. Oh my God. 